tuning in today it's been forever since i've seen you guys like literally forever um but i have just been living my life and so i decided that it is time for me to get back into my youtube channel i really miss you guys um i have so much footage but y'all i'm an artist and i'm sensitive about my stuff like literally so as you can tell from the thumbnail we are going to be talking about my weight loss journey and the reason why i'm so happy is because this is my very first diet like full-fledged diet like i'm gonna do it diet um i decided to do this diet because i i love myself and i don't want anybody to get that wrong like i love myself i love the way that i look however i just got to a point where i don't know about y'all but yo quarantine was like the freshman 15 like i literally gained like 15 to 20 pounds like no lie um so i just need to get back to the girl that i used to be and also be able to get into the clothes that i just bought last year like literally like two sundays ago i put on a skirt and yo the skirt was like too small and i was just like what the heck so obviously something had to give and it was this way and it was not buying new clothes i am not in the business of buying new clothes right now so i just wanted to go ahead and start a whole weight loss journey and i thought what better way to do it than to actually track my progress on youtube with you guys um this is gonna be a fun experience um so what I want to do is tell you guys about what I am doing now um, and what I've already started to do. And then you guys will be able to track it with me through there. Um, if you want me to post on my Instagram or Facebook, I will be glad to. Just let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see. Um, so just to kick things off. For this weight loss diet, yes, I do have a goal. Um, my goal is to lose about 40 pounds and I have about two months to do it. My birthday's in April. It's February now, like, what is it? February 7th now. Um, I definitely wanna try to lose at least 40 pounds before my birthday. If not, maybe somewhere around 30 pounds. Um, it's definitely manageable goal for myself. Um, I do believe that it can be done. I'm just gonna work hard and make sure I get it, um, get it done. So I wanted to, and I'm looking at my notebook guys, so please excuse me if I keep looking down. So I wanted to, give you guys um just a little bit of feedback so when i decided to go ahead and start this whole weight loss journey i literally went to youtube and i was like oh my god help me um and i found this uh other youtuber her name is sophiology i believe i'll post her um I'll link her in the description down below, but she has a few videos about weight loss and her personal walk in her weight loss journey. And I just thought she was just so resourceful because she not only listed one type of uh, diet that she was doing, she actually listed about three or four. Um, so of the three or four, I was actually able to really fall in love with the idea of the smoothie diet. Um, I did talk to my nutritionist and she did let me know that a smoothie diet is not always the way to go because that's quick weight loss and the way that you lose your weight is the way that you keep it off. However, I thought it would work great with my lifestyle because my husband already makes like a smoothie every morning, literally before he goes to work. So I thought that would work out great with my lifestyle. So if you guys don't know, I do have PCOS. And if you don't know about it, please do your research and look it up. Um, but basically, I have to try to eliminate as much starch from my diet as I possibly can, uh, because that does worsen the disease. Um, 
So what I did was I just went ahead and I've been doing like vegetable, like a lot of vegetables. I've been substituting things um, such as like instead of having regular white, white rice or brown rice, I actually do quinoa. I actually, I actually love quinoa. My baby loves quinoa. So it works out perfectly for everybody. Um, the only person who doesn't eat quinoa is my husband, but that's okay because we do uh, the jasmine brown rice. And I buy all my stuff from Trader Joe's, yo. Like, it is actually the best deals that you will actually find and i find that quite interesting because usually health food stores do have a stigma of being quite expensive um so when i go there on my next shopping trip i will take you guys so that you guys can see exactly what i'm purchasing i don't know if the trader joe's website actually has pricing or if it actually has products listed on there that you can order but i definitely want to take you guys along so you can see what i'm picking up so um, a couple things that I am adding to try and supplement or help speed up, as I would say, my weight loss or actually go ahead and get a full cleanse is apple cider vinaigrette. I have been doing apple cider vinaigrette for the last 14 days every other day and apple cider vinegar um, in the mornings actually helped me to eat a little bit later. Even though I thought it wasn't really a good thing, it actually turned out to be a great thing because what it would do is it would allow me to drink my first full bottle of water and also have my smoothie. And that usually holds me over until lunch. If I am still hungry, I will grab a breakfast sandwich from Starbucks. I do the tomato mozzarella panini. It is absolutely my favorite sandwich at Starbucks that they offer. Um... So that's the sandwich that I get to have with breakfast. It doesn't have any meat in it, and I absolutely love it. Um, so another thing that I do, if I don't have time to stop at Starbucks because I am pretty busy in the mornings, I will do just a handful of almond nuts, um, or I would just do a handful of dried cranberries. Um, but the choice is yours. This is just my walk. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not an expert on this. Like I said before, this is my very first diet. So yeah, naturally, I'm just experimenting and learning what works for me. I believe that everyone is different. And in order to get the results that you want, you do have to like change some things, yo. Like you literally have to do it the way that it works for you so that you can feel good about yourself and what you're doing at the end of the day and not feel like you're just trying to meet a standard that everyone else is meeting um so another thing that I did have to pick up in my day is my water intake like I literally had to go from drinking four to five bottles to five to six to seven bottles a day um and just like I said before my first bottle is before breakfast and my last bottle is right after dinner um so I try to fit in a bottle or two at least in between all of my meals I actually think that helped me to feel a lot more fuller when I did decide to eat I didn't eat as much um because eating um bigger portions was actually just my biggest problem um as it is for anybody else like yo who doesn't love food um so I just felt that um doing the water in between meals just really helped to hold me over um it helped with my snacking um and it was just great in general. And it's been better for my skin. Um, I can honestly say that I do see a little bit of a difference. Um, but hopefully I'll see more of a difference in the next, in the upcoming weeks. Um, so, uh, just like I said, uh, things that I'm drinking are just smoothies, apple cider vinegar, water, water, water. Um, and I'm doing diet and sugar-free drinks. For As for my meal prep, I do prep all my meals on Monday night. Um, and the reason for that is because on Sundays I do cook dinner and I will usually have enough leftovers to take to work the next day. So on Monday nights, I do go ahead and prepare a fresh meal for my week and I do prepare 
four boxes for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and I also do it for myself and my husband. We usually have one grain, one vegetable, and one protein. This last week, because we were challenging ourselves, we had no protein at all. Um, or actually, we didn't have any meat, but we did substitute for like avocado um, and things like that. And um, black beans. Black beans are my husband's uh, favorite. So we decided to just go that route this week it was great it worked out well um but what i did notice was like last week or the week before my very first week doing it because i've been doing it for 14 days now so the first week i actually lost five pounds eight ounces which is great however when i did the no meat thing this last week i actually only lost like maybe roughly two pounds and so and I also ate less, which is crazy to me. Um, I couldn't believe that. So I decided that I'm going to do what I did the first week. I'm going to make um, nice, healthy meals um, and make sure that I just square my plate up so that I have all the parts that are needed to be successful in this. Um, I do, um, as I mentioned before, I have breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, for dinner, we usually do uh, grain with either salmon, fish, chicken. Um, every now and again, we'll do turkey. Um, and we will also substitute our meat out for something else. Um, but it works out pretty well. And I know you guys are probably wanting to know, because if you're my friend and you're watching this, you know I have a crazy sweet tooth like literally it's crazy i have been substituting my sweet tooth with doing strawberries and sugar-free whip or i would do the honey the honey oat granola bars um and those have nuts in it i believe they're nature valley is the brand they're actually pretty good i get them at my local walmart and Publix. you guys i'm sure you guys will find them at your local store as far as my workout plan goes, I'm actually extremely busy, so it's really hard for me to get to the gym first thing in the morning or, or last thing at night. So what I do is I looked at my schedule and I happened to notice that I do get a whole entire hour's break. No one eats on their entire hour's break. So I decided that I was going to take at least or I was going to devote at least 15 to 30 minutes a day to um, just walking around the parking lot. Like something so simple and so overlooked. I just decided like the weather has been good here lately in Atlanta. Even though it's like freezing, like it's still good enough for me to walk in and not feel like sweaty and nasty. When it comes to eating out, I have just decided that when I go out, I'm just going to get healthier options instead of having instead of having pasta and different things like that for my uh, meal. I will probably swap it out for salads or whole steaks, um, little things like that. Just try to do more healthier options at restaurants. And the nice thing about dieting in 2021 is that a lot of restaurants actually offer vegan options. So that actually works best for me. I love vegan food. I am not a vegan. I am not a vegetarian. But every now and again, I do like to indulge in what the other side likes. Um, as far as cheating my cheat days, like, I honestly say, in my mind, I'm just like, I'm too early in the game to start cheating. So I feel like cheating isn't just isn't something that I can do just yet. But I will definitely keep you guys updated on that on how my cheating habits and little snide snack habits are working out. Um, so like I said, in a week, in the first week, I did lose five pounds and eight ounces. In the second week, I lost roughly two pounds. Um, so that is seven in total. I am so far, so far, I am very happy with my results. I know I could lose them faster, but I want to take it at my own pace. Um, this week, I am going to pick it up with my workouts, yoga sessions, um, and just being more active and just see how that works for me. I do have have an apple watch so that is exactly how i keep track of um like what i'm doing and i do try to beat my next goal um 
So that's actually really fun for me and it's a little bit of a challenge, especially when I'm the only one like out walking and doing things, you know. It just gives me something to look forward to, something to beat. Um, that way I can just keep pushing along. So anyway, guys, that concludes this video. I just want to thank you guys so much again for tuning in and watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, please feel free to drop them down below. Um, I do look forward to posting more videos, guys. I do actually have my next video coming up. It will be my Fashion Nova haul for Valentine's Day. I'm so excited to show you guys the pieces that I purchased. Um, I actually have them here now it's so crazy i purchased like a ton of a ton of pieces um and i'm just gonna try them on and i will try on my absolute favorites and then i kind of want you guys to maybe weigh in on what i should be wearing for valentine's day what i shouldn't i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do with that video yet but i do want to have some fun with it so again thank you guys so much for tuning in please don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are in the know when i post my next video thank you guys so much and i love you bye